Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Now in today's video, we are going to take our discussion forward related to the various types of uh, number system. So in my previous two videos, I discussed about the decimal number system or the base 10 number system and the binary number system or base 2 number system. Those two number systems we discussed, the basic concepts we discussed. So today's video we are going to discuss about the octal number system. So by this uh, term octal you can make out that it has something uh, associated with the number 8. So the octal number system is also a number system which is a code okay, which consists of some unique symbols which are used to represent any given number. So the octal number system it uses 8 unique symbols okay, 8 unique symbols this code this coded representation which is the octal number system it uses 8 unique symbols. The binary system uses 2 symbols, the decimal system uses 10 symbols, the octal number system it uses uh, 8 unique symbols and those symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the digit okay, in an octal number system whenever you will find a number it will contain digits which will be in between means it will it will be something from these eight symbols okay and nothing else there cannot be any eight or nine or ten that is for decimal number systems so any digit in an octal number system should be from these eight symbol choices and nothing other than this so as the number of unique symbols that are used in this number system are 8, so the base or radix of this number system is 8, okay, 8 unique symbols that is why the base or radix of the system is 8. So similar to the uh, binary and the decimal number system, it is also a positional number system. So what is uh, a positional number system signifies? It means that each and every position of the digit has a certain weight value associated with it. We discussed about the concept of weights in a number system in my previous video. So you please check out that video. So a positional number system means that each and every position of the digit in a given number has certain weight value associated with it which is determined by the position of the digit okay so the octal number system has these uh, characteristics okay it has eight unique symbols okay from 0 to 7 the base or radix of the system hence it is 8 because it has eight unique symbols and it it is a positional number system that is each and every position has certain weight value associated with it. So let us understand how this positional number system, okay, the positioning and the weight value associated with octal number system, it works, okay. So let us see that. So let us see how the positioning of the various uh, symbols in an octal number and the weight value associated with it, it works, okay. So let us consider uh, any given octal number, let us say um, A, B and C. Let us take uh, the octal number okay, A, B, C. Now this A, B and C, these it will be symbol which will have value in between 0 and 7 because only these symbols or digits they are permitted in octal number system. So this A, B and C should be something from in between 0 and 7 okay? because only those symbols are allowed in octal number system. So similar to the decimal and the binary number system, okay, this 
this this this <coughs> c it has a weight value of 8 to the power 0 okay this c this b it has a weight value 8 to the power 1 this a it has a weight value 8 to the power 2 and it gradually increases as we add more symbols to the left hand side. Suppose uh, we uh, take a number a b c d e f g. So, this g it will have 8 to the power 0 weight value, this one will have 8 to the power 1, this will have to the power 2, this will have 8 to the power 3, this c it will have 8 to the power 4, this will have 8 to the power 5, this will have 8 to the power 6. Suppose we take a octal number with a, a point, octal point, okay, means it contains some fractional part. Suppose let us say A, B, C point T, E. So, this octal point, this is called as the octal point. In uh, decimal number system, this is called as the decimal point. In binary, binary number system, it is called as the binary point and in this uh, octal system, it is called as the octal point. So, this uh, D which, which lies just to the right side, immediate right of the octal point, it will have a weight value 8 to the power minus 1 or 1 by 8. This E, it will have a weight value is also 1 by 8 to the power minus 2 or we can say it as 1 by 8 square. Suppose we add more uh, symbols, f g let us say, then this f it will have weight value associated with 8 to the power minus 3. This g it will have, <coughs> sorry, it will have a weight value associated with 8 to the power minus 4. And this has 8 to the power 0, this has b 8 to the power 1 and this a it has 8 to the power 2. So, that that is constant. So, always remember this uh, power, okay, this power to the immediate left of the point be it a decimal, be it a binary, be it a octal be it a hexadecimal, whatever number system, just to the immediate left of this point, the weight values, the power, okay, it starts from 0. In octal, it is 8 to the power 0. In decimal, it is 10 to the power 0. In binary, it is 2 to the power 0. In hexadecimal, it is 16 to the power 0. And it starts from there, from 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. But to the right, immediate right of the point, okay, in any number system, the negative power, okay, the negative power, it starts from minus 1. What students commonly make mistake is that they start this value, okay, this power from 1. They by mistake, they write 8 to the power 1, okay. They do not write 8 to the power 0 or 2 to the power 0 or 16 to the power 0 or 10 to the power 0. It, it is a common mistake, okay, that happens that they start with 8 to the power 1 or write it 2 to the power 1 or uh, write it as 16 to the power 1 in the hexadecimal case and 10 to the power 1 in binary case, uh, sorry, uh, decimal case. So, avoid this mistake. It will be wrong. The calculations will all be wrong. So, always be careful about that, that uh, whenever the weight value is associated with any uh, symbol, okay, in any number system, to the immediate left of the point, the whole part, the power okay, associated with each position means the weight value, it starts with 0 and to the right means the fractional part, okay, 
to the right side of the point the weight value it starts from minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 but here it starts from 0 0 1 2 3 and so on now some of the examples of octal number system or sorry octal numbers or uh, numbers which belong to the octal number family can be let's say simple as 1 2 3 okay this can be uh, the octal <coughs> sorry uh, the octal number okay so you always have to write the base of the number next uh, another number that can be be 2 4 6 uh, 7 6 0 next it can be uh, 5 4 7 next another one can be uh, 6 4 2 like that now suppose I write a number as uh, 7 0 8 will it belong to the octal number family means the octal number system no it will be wrong why because only symbols from 0 to 7 they are allowed in the octal system the octal number system but in 708 this 8 is not allowed so it is not an octal number it can be a decimal number it can also be a hexadecimal number it is possible okay it is possible that it can be a decimal number or a hexadecimal number because in those number systems 8 is allowed but it cannot be an octal number it cannot be a binary number binary there is no chance only uh, 0 is allowed in 0 and 1 it is allowed in binary system 7 8 they are not allowed in octal 7 is allowed 0 is allowed but 8 is not allowed so it cannot be uh, octal and a binary binary there is no question about but sometimes by mistake you you do not uh, think that 8 is considered as acceptable in octal number system it is not it starts from 0 and ends at 7 total of 8 unique symbols 0 included so this is not a octal number all these are octal number systems another thing suppose a number is given 708 how can you say that uh, whether it belongs to which number system whether it is octal or hexadecimal or any other number system so always put the base or radix of that number here it is very important in digital electronic subject in any other uh, field or any other situation if you write 708 almost everyone will consider it as decimal number system 708 but when you write anything in digital electronics it has to be completely specified when it comes to the number systems topic it, you have to always mention the base or radix of uh, that number uh, after the bracket okay So here we have uh, discussed about uh, some of the uh, octal number system okay the octal number system the basic concepts now uh, the only number system which we have left is the hexadecimal number system so we'll discuss that in a separate video so I hope you like this video about the basic introductory concepts associated with the octal number system and uh, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much